Hello again, Pietro here, filming on the GoPro Hero 10, and I have the little battery door, or what do they call it, compartment door open, hoping that the thing won't overheat like the last time I tried to use it. Anyway, I apologize if you don't like the audio, but this is the audio, the blah, blah, blah. this is the audio you're going to get if you're filming in a small 10 by 8 no, more like nine by eight uh, studio home slash office. Yeah. So today we are talking about what's in this little pouch. It's a small little pouch and it connects to my iPhone 12. And the question is, what's the best way to charge your smartphone if you're not anywhere near electricity. Well, you have two choices, solar charger to a battery pack or solar charger directly to a lightning cable, all right. Or you have a just a straight on big old hefty battery pack. You know, hiking with one of these longer than five miles? No, thank you. So there's your two choices. Uh, option number three, someone else's Android phone with PowerShare and then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take off, well, you know, clear space, and then you have to set your phone just right, just, you know, right in the exact spot, and then hopefully no one, you know, bumps it because then it stops charging. That's just kind of a pain. So that's option three, right? Well, option four is this little thing. Hopefully the GoPro, oh, ah, crap. I just dropped my keyboard. That's not good. Okay, let's try stay. Okay, I'm gonna use my remarkable as a little stand. Is this, whoa, whoa, is that gonna work? Hopefully. Here we go. Ta-da! The Charge Card by Aquavault. And no, this is not sponsored. I actually emailed them and said I'm interested and they go, yeah, go ahead and buy our device and but yeah, they, they weren't able to do a collaboration, but that's okay, because I really needed something like this. So in this pouch, you have these two things. Now, if you have an Android phone, you know, USB-C, then they have a micro USB to USB-C. I'll show that in another video. But since I primarily got this for my iPhone, this is what I do. And then when you store it, you plug this in here, this in there, and then you notice it plugs in and I haven't charged this for quite some time, actually over a month. And it's just been sitting here in my office at around 65 degrees in the little pouch. So it's fully charged, awesome. Has a little button there that you can check the charge cycle and I like how bright it is. And then you just plug this in like so. Sorry, you just plug this in like so. So basically, you have it stored like that. You take it out of your wallet. Okay, start over. So when you want to use it, you just take it out of the sleeve, pop this open, find your iPhone, click, and then you can just, you know, put it back in your pocket, continue hiking, and then now it's charging. Now, if you're wondering whether or not your iPhone is completely dead, when you hold the power button down and you just get express cards, and keys available and it won't even turn on yes that is a good indicator that you've completely depleted the battery so now let's see time of life 1005 perfect plug that in charge indicator right there and we will just let that stay and then just for fun we'll check the battery temp 71 69 68 desk temperature 66 all right, 67, back of the iPhone, 65, wall temperature, 66, perfect. So what do you think? I, I thought that was pretty cool. You can pick one of these up. They're around 30 to $40 online, which is about the same price as one of these. Now, I was not able to find out how big the battery is on this charge card, but I'm pretty sure it's less than 3,000 milliamps. If I can find that, I'll uh, post that in the comments right below, but it wasn't in the documentation that I received. 
This is a 10,000 milliamp battery, and the battery size inside the iPhone 12 mini is just a smidge over like 2200 milliamps. So this device would almost fully charge the iPhone 12 three divided by five. Yeah, about four times, so pretty cool. So now we'll come back in a bit and I'll document the stuff on my Remarkable and we'll see how long this takes to charge. And we'll also find out how long before, oh, just like that. So now it fully booted up. It says it's at 5%. If we swipe down, come on, swipe. Oh, it won't let me because it was shut down. It was at 5%, trust me. Oh, it's charging pretty quickly then. And we're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna leave it in LTE mode. Because honestly, most people don't charge their devices in airplane mode. If you really wanna charge your iPhone fast, no matter what you're doing, yeah, plug it in and then turn it off. That's the fastest way to charge. Okay, I'll see you in about 10, 20 minutes or so. I'm gonna go do some house cleaning. See you soon. All right, well, that was fun. And yes, I am the biggest nerd. I still wear these broken glasses. I, I didn't know this, but prescription glasses have this depth of view and some are 12 inches, some are 18, and these are better for some things. So the charge card is now empty and it got my phone from not turning on to 69%. It's now dropped to 62%, but the little charge indicators, they're all worn out. It, it won't charge anymore. Actually, funny enough, one little bar just came on. Hmm. But my phone says, yeah, it's not, yeah. So this is done. Zero descent, what was zero descent? Zero percent to 69%, that's pretty good. The other thing to take in consideration is how old your phone is. I got this one in January of 2021. It's now 2022, year and a half old. Battery health has dropped to 87% meaning it doesn't, even though it says it goes to 100, it's not really 100. Thanks, Apple, and uh, yeah. Tim, can't think of his name. The guy over Apple, Tim, I'll throw it on the screen. The, the CEO, the, the, the head cheese, the grand poobah. But the battery speed, it was okay initially, it was charging at 1% per minute. When I plug it in to a 20 watt Apple charger, it charges at 1.32% per minute, as you can see on my grandiose spreadsheet there. But yeah, you know, it, it charged pretty good. Now again, LTE was enabled, Wi-Fi was enabled, so I had stuff going on in the background, I'm sure, because Apple's always doing that stuff. I have at least, let me see here, I'm not gonna show you all my apps. One, two, three. 15 apps open, but uh, the big question is, was it worth it? I mean, would this be something you'd want to hike with? My answer is yes, because if you're just hiking, you're not gonna have Wi-Fi. You're not gonna have, well, depending on how, how much of a hiker you are. If you go real hiking, you barely have a signal, and your, your phone is gonna be like this right here. Airplane mode, Bluetooth off. It's gonna charge faster. And even if this thing only charges it, you know, 80% or it gives it an extra 60%, if you have the iPhone, what's it called? The, uh, the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is like twice as big as this and the battery's twice as big, yeah, you might only get a 50% charge, but if you're in airplane mode or a real pinch, an extra 50% on your smartphone is hours. On this phone, now that I'm almost at 70%, I'm gonna be good until, let's see, it's almost noon. That should be good the rest of the day. Awesome. So now what we do is we unplug this and we take the micro USB port, plug that in, and then I have, well, I just have my laptop here. So I'm just gonna plug this into my laptop. Here, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Move the GoPro, because that's charged. And we can just plug that in like so. And now you can see the little charging indicator there. The little dots are blinking, and now it's gonna charge. 
that charges fully in about, what is it? 20, no, sorry, uh, hold on. About an hour and a half to two hours. They recommend not charging it with a really fast charger. Here's the original box. So earlier I said we'd get to those other things. It comes with micro USB to USB-C. It comes with micro USB to micro USB. Came with this little thing and then it comes with the charger that you saw. So one, two, three, four cables. And it comes with this nice little cloth. And then here's the charge card, which we have. I'll show you. Here's the cool card charge. Power button, four power lights, which you saw. This is the charging tip that plugs, yep, yep. This end to that plugged in, I let you all out now. Ultra thin, ultra fast. You know, for the size of this little charge card, yeah, I would say it's pretty fast compared to a lot of other charges that I've used. How to charge electric, so it says Apple, Android, Mark USB, et cetera, et cetera, and I'll let you pause and read all that fine print. Tells you how to recharge, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Do not eat the everlasting gum. Do not eat the everlasting gobstopper. That's what you have to remember. The everlasting gobstopper, off limits. Don't eat it. All right, so there you go. That's my story of the charge card that you can get through Aquavault. And thank you, Aquavault, for not sponsoring me and allowing this to be a honest review. Now, it's the size of about two credit cards. So this may or may not fit in your wallet. It depends if your name is George Costanza. But if you had a, you know, a small backpack, if you're ultra packing, this is what I would choose. I would choose this charge card and not bring a big old 10,000 milliamp because right before I go on long overnight hikes, you know, let's say a one or two nighter, if I, my phone is in airplane mode and I'm using uh, alt trails or one of those other apps, I, I don't need a lot of juice. So one extra charge or an extra 67%, I'm good. Let me know your pithy thoughts and let me know if you want me to do more tests with this charge card. You know, should I do it when it's at 20% or I could, and there's gonna be a lot of variability, but I don't think that's necessary. Yes, it works. I've had this device now for, oh, I keep holding up the card. I've had the charge card now for five months. The battery life is still good. Based on my previous stats, it's still charging to the same amount based on my spreadsheet. And we all know spreadsheets don't lie. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. Pithy comments, type those down below. And don't forget that numbers mean something and numbers mean nothing at all. And yes, let those credits roll for the Paramount Kid. Goodbye.